Hey everybody, Seth here. Uh, we're at the EcoFlow Testing Center. It's uh, 3.20 in the morning. We're just finishing up the last little bit of tests. Um, so actually right now we have the 1.5 kilowatt hour uh, LFP external battery connected to the R600. We're just doing a simple uh, stability test and also working on the R600 Max. So thanks to all of the uh, video feedback and feedback from our beta testers, video reviews, uh, like from Will Prowse, we've been able to improve all of the features and also troubleshoot some things that need to be taken a look at. So um, that's great. Um, we love this part about the crowdfunding journey. Um, one thing that I want everybody to keep in mind is the R600 is at the cutting edge of what's possible for portable power. So because a lot of these features are brand new, never been seen before on the market, uh, this naturally makes the journey a little bit more difficult. Um, but it's well worth it, and we're very confident that we can deliver a super awesome product in the end. Um, so I'm going to continue to maybe try to make uh, more videos like this, just giving you guys an update and kind of a glimpse into uh, what we're doing here uh, in the background. So another thing I want to talk to you guys about is uh, the inspiration behind R600. Like, why did we decide to build a product like this? Um, so one second. If you guys remember the Delta campaign, um, so this is a much larger device. It's very powerful, um, but it's a little bit heavy. And this is actually River, our first product, which is a lot smaller, a lot more compact, more portable, but it's less powerful. So already we had this idea that we needed to like bridge the gap between uh, a powerful device and a portable device. But what really solidified um, this idea was actually an experience that our product manager had. Uh, him and his wife had uh, a power outage in their home and they had the river on hand. Um, she, his wife wanted to use it to blow dry her hair, but it just wouldn't do it. The blow dryer was too powerful. Um, so that's a little bit frustrating for her. She asked him why I can't use this. Um, and he told her, it's simple. You can't use it because we want to protect this device, we need to protect the inverter. And um, her response to that was, you know, the, uh, maybe the idea should be protecting me, protecting the end user and my needs. So that's what solidified the idea behind creating a product like R600. Our focus is flexibility and customer needs. What can we do to make a product flexible for the end user so that they can use it however they need to? So our focus here has always been customer needs, end user needs. What do you guys need to make the most out of these devices? Uh, a lot of time and a lot of thinking have went into the features. For example, like uh, why did we choose 600 watts? So first off, 600 watts allows us to have a really good balance between weight and size and power. Um, most home appliances can operate off of 600 watts. And the cool part is anything that requires a uh, higher uh, power demand, um, you can now use X-Boost and X-Link um, to accommodate that. So this is kind of where those features were born in. Like from the story before, um, our product manager's wife couldn't power the 1200 watt hair dryer with the river, but she can now power it with this 600 watt device using X-Boost. And if something needed, let's say, 1200 watt continuous, you can now use X-Link to supply that and run efficiently. So now that we're on the subject of powering different things, I also want to point out the USB-C 100 watt output. Um, this is actually kind of a unique feature. Currently, nothing on the market supplies over 60 watts. So if you want to power something like a MacBook Pro that requires around 85 watts, uh, this is perfect for that. You can also charge any other laptop or device that requires USB-C. So we're talking about powering all these devices. Uh, now the question is for how long? So we need to talk about capacity. Um, so for capacity, you have a lot of different options. You have a base model, RS600, which offers 288 watt hours. And if you're feeling like that's not enough for you, um, you have this uh, battery module here, which connects to the bottom of this, and that'll bump you up to around 576 watt hours. Um, and then of course you can use X-Link, chain these together, but if you want to just have one device 
and uh, feeling like you need greater capacity and maybe more cycle life, um, the R600 Pro is probably gonna be uh, the best device for you. So the really cool thing about this is not only is this 800 watt hours, but it also has the ability to connect to an external battery source. So this is our EcoFlow 1.5 kilowatt hour uh, LFP battery. Um, the R600 connects directly to this through the port in the back. Um, this is a really good option that's kind of like turnkey. It's just plug and play, really straightforward to use. Um, and for like the DIYers out there, we also created um, the Pro Expansion Kit. So what this will do is allow you to use the same type of connection um, here and allow you to connect to any deep cycle battery. So you have your leads here. Um, these connect to your deep cycle batteries. This connects to the R600. Um, now the R600 can manage uh, this kind of DIY battery system that you build, which is really cool. This is just more versatile. You have kind of infinite options with this configuration. All right, you guys, so I wanna go over the app with you uh, right now, um, kind of show you what to expect, what you'll see when you first open it. Um, and I do wanna mention that you actually don't need the app uh, to control anything on the device. So, but it's just a bonus. Um, so let me scoot a little closer. So when you first open the app, you'll see the connected device. You'll see the temperature, capacity, and the time to empty. Now from here, you can also control the light on the front. Uh, it has three different settings, low, high, and SOS. You can also control the AC output on the side and the DC. Right here, you can see that light come on. Now, the Xboost feature by default is turned off, so you can actually turn this on within the app simply by turning this on here. The next really cool part is actually the recharge setting. So, uh, what this is gonna do is allow you to set the maximum percent the uh, unit will charge to. So, when you plug it into recharge, say you want it to go to 80%, it will only charge to 80%. What this does is kind of help you uh, maintain good battery health and longevity of the cells. Uh, so we go in here to system and you'll see standby time. So uh, the standby time, basically if, if no device is connected, nothing's running, uh, the AC and the DC inverters off, um, the device will automatically power off by the time that you set. So it ranges from 30 minutes to never. Uh, you can also see the temperature unit, either Fahrenheit or Celsius, and the charging mode. So if you're using this for like a CPAP machine and it's in your room and you wanna sleep and the fans are a little bit too loud on normal, you can just switch it over to quiet. Uh, and also here you'll see the firmware version. So when there's an update available, um, you'll see a little dialog box here that will say update. Um, you can select that, upgrade the firmware, um, if nothing's there, that means you have the latest firmware version. Um, so one cool thing about this is the app isn't necessary, but it is nice, especially if you have uh, some type of setup in your home, like let's say it's in your garage and uh, you wanna check on the device or turn something on from within your, within your home, a different room. Um, this kind of allows you uh, to do that. So it's pretty cool. Um, and uh, that pretty much sums up the app. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. Uh, I'm really tired, but uh, I did wanna just briefly go over all the features. Hopefully this kind of clears up any questions or confusion about the R600. Um, hopefully it gives you a better idea about it, uh, what it has to offer. So if you have any specific questions or like tests that you want me to do, um, drop a comment because I think I'm gonna do uh, a couple more videos like this, but maybe more in depth for some of the more advanced users. Um, so yeah, I mean, we just finished testing on the R600 Pro in combination with the 1.5 kilowatt uh, external LFP battery. Um, that went really good. So um, yeah, we're pushing forward and um, yeah, things are going smoothly. We, uh, we really appreciate all the feedback. It's helped us improve the features greatly. 
So uh, I think this concludes the video and I'll see you next time. I'm gonna get some sleep. Bye.